something now. Look at this. That's blue kyanite. Look at, look at. That's kyanite. It's not beautiful. I was looking at this thing right here. It's so pretty. Look at. She does tree of life necklaces, kind of like I do. And look at all of the pendulums. This is my basket of goodies. Oh my gosh, this ring reminds me of you, Natalie. That's kyanite right there. Reminds me of you. Look at this one, that's Labradite. That is so pretty. On the hunt for aquamarine. Look at this. $135 for this. Don't you think of a banana back there? <laughs> oh my gosh. Look at the stars. So drawn to this star. It's so pretty. Two. These bonds. Aren't those adorable? Look at this. <laughs> They're called magic wands. How fun is that? And you can buy your beads over here. Back here, she's got clothes, curtains, cute dress, cute backpacks, and then patches, and then all the pretty. Oh my gosh, it's too hard. It's too many. It's too much. Too hard to choose. Look at all that lapis. See all that lapis? Look at it all. I love it. Like a little food. That is the cutest. I wonder how much she wants with me. Think about buying one of those. And Luke. Yes, Patty has the cutest 
cutest, most adorable stuff. Look at all the crystals, guys. You can know. They're every freaking wear. Look at this. Isn't that cute? Look at all the selenite. I was hoping she would have a bigger selenite tower, but she's going to order one for me. Look at all the crystals. And on this side is all the raw crystals. Beautiful. Rainbow dream catchers. I think Natalie makes the best dream catchers. The cool cups. Here we go. I found some Palo Santo sticks. There we go. I have a whole basket here, guys. This is all the stuff. I don't need any of that right now, thank goodness. I don't see anything else I need. I think I'm good. Look at the little tiny singing bowls. Look at that tiny singing bowl. <laughs> Ooh, I might need some of that incense though. I really like that brand. Uh-oh. 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 There's no prices on them. Dang it. That's cute. That is really cute. Okay. I'm going, oh, look at the lotus flower thing. Isn't that beautiful? <laughs> Wait, what is this? Like a candle holder, maybe? That's beautiful. Ooh, look at this one. That's so pretty. Okay. She's got her Halloween tree up. I might just steal me a piece of candy. Oh my goodness, look at the little... The witch's hats. That's so adorable. And the little potion bottles. Oh my goodness. Look at how cute. Look at how cute. Oh my goodness. The cutest. Look at this tree. All right. <laughs> I love the tree. Oh, how many did, did somebody change our days to, to Halloween? <laughs> yeah, it was oh my god, I don't know how 21 many days? days? I don't know about that. Let's see, what's today? The 13th. 13th. Well, that might be right. Um, but then I would have to do math, and I don't really want to, so. <laughs> <laughs> Look at those. Oh my goodness. Oh, I'm happy. I just wish three days I'll make it. Who's this over here? No, that's good. That's beautiful. Sunstone. What's this? So she's got surprise bags here. Like surprise. Like they're worth. You pay for the bag and you don't know what's inside. And it could be like. It's just a $25 value, so it's like a surprise bag. 
That's very cool. Oh, there's some more Oracle cards that I didn't see. And look at, oh, look at that. Very cool. Dragons. Dragons and fairies. Oh my goodness. Ooh, Easy mint so they close. Oh, that's beautiful. Okay, well, I am being told that they're about to close and yeah, I I uh, I stayed until I shut the place down. What's wrong with that? Good morning, guys. Namaste. <laughs> Please excuse my voice. <clears throat> it's kind of coming in and out. I woke up this morning with a sore throat. Yay. <laughs> And I'm here to do an unboxing regardless. Um, I, um, on the last video I did, oh, by the way, how do you guys like my husband's band tea? This is my husband's band sub vinyl jukebox, one of three that he plays in. Anyways, um, so, yeah, the last video I did, um, I did a bit of an unboxing um, as part of that video where I got a gift card from Katrina, Mystic Brady. Uh, for my birthday and I decided to take that uh, gift card along with the rest of my birthday money <laughs> and uh, go down and make a visit to one of my good friends in my community um, her name is Patty Devine and she's an amazing 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 friend um, she's always been there for me during times of need um, every time I walk into her store if it, you know, she's got beautiful messages for me and I always walk away feeling so much better. So I did end up getting stuck in there for about two and a half hours. <laughs> yeah, I'm not complaining. The only problem is, is I left my husband sitting out in the car with my dog that whole time. <laughs> uh, yeah, I, time gets away with me while I'm in there. I, it, I just enjoy um, hanging out with Patty. I enjoy the atmosphere. I enjoy the beautiful, amazing energy that just radiates off that place and um i take my time i take my time um connecting with the pieces that i need to bring home so let's look at what i got you guys okay first of all you guys if you live in this area port orchard washington go down and check out patty's shop every single time i go in there it is more amazing as it's being put together. Now, mind you, I think they're looking for a new location. And they're fairly new in the location they're in. Um, I'm not exactly sure what happened there. But there was a reason that they had to move kind of quickly. And so they are kind of looking for a new location. But I'm telling you, the, the atmosphere, the energy in that place is so healing. So healing. Um, a lot of times you go into a crystal shop and you kind of can, can get really overwhelmed by all the different energies as you walk through and stuff. Uh, for me, I always do a little prayer before I go in, set my intentions, and, um, you know, ask my spirit guides to kind of protect me from that overwhelming feeling. And they do. So, um, I also ask my spirit guides to uh, direct me or connect me with the whatever it is I need that, that day from the store. Mind you, I heal my MS with crystals, meditation, uh, time in nature, um, frequency. So um, that, those are the things I choose instead of taking a bunch of pills every day. So, um, so when I go to the crystal shop, that's like going to the pharmacy for me. So, and then, you know, most pharmacies have a lot of cute, extra cute stuff all over them that you end up buying when you go to pick up your medicine. Well, that happens there too. <laughs> okay, guys. So I have, this is actually going to go down here because that's a different unboxing. Okay. You guys. <laughs> all right. I'm so excited. Okay. So. 
I got some new babies and I'm so excited. Ah! Oh, thank you, Katrina. Okay. I just don't want to chip them. Okay, so we will start with, oh my gosh, I already forgot the name. This is a new crystal to me. Um, <clears throat> this is, hold on one second, I got to pause and get the name. Okay, guys. Okay, guys, I am so sorry. It took me so long. For you guys, that was this blink of an eye. <laughs> but for me, I actually didn't... Get, I'm coming back an hour later because I wrote down some notes. I figure if I'm going to show off my new crystals, I might as well educate a little bit on them because it might help somebody okay so you guys i got the most beautiful crystals and i cannot wait to show we're gonna start with the lipidolite sphere my ring light is changing colors so it's making it appear to be different colors but it's actually purple light purple and gray okay so this this stone is associated with Libra, which is me. So that's one of the biggest reasons why I chose it. It was my birthday bunny. I am a Libra. And, and so I chose the Lepidolite. Okay, Lepidolite is from the Mica group. It actually comes in shades of lilac and pink. Um, also, it can come in purple and gray, which is what this one is. Okay. Now, lipidolite apparently has high levels of lithium in it. So it, it is um, a stone that helps with emotional balance and inner peace. Um, they call this the grandmother stone or the peace stone, also the stone of transition. Um, this uh, lipidolite raises dopamine levels in your, in your brain. Um, they call this the lullaby stone as well because it helps with sleep. Um, lipidolite clears blockages so that you connect with your higher self more easily. And I didn't know this, but lipidolite protects against EMF, which, which is electromagnetic field of um, the electromagnetic field. Um, it boosts the immune system, reduces stress and anxiety, and brings harmony. Um, this stone for physical things, it helps with sciatica, neuralgia, it helps to slow down the symptoms of Alzheimer's, stabilizes moods, um, cuts back on PMS, um, in stabilizing your moods and your hormones, it, it cuts back on PMS, and any kind of changes that it would be brought on by hormonal changes like PMS, um, um, like even post menstrual, uh, post menstrual or menstrual or sorry, um, what is the word? Um, 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 menopause, menopause. Okay, so it helps emotionally balance um, your hormones. Well, it helps balance your hormones during menopause. Okay, we'll just say that. Another reason why I picked it, but we won't go there. <laughs> Anyways, it's just a beautiful, beautiful specimen, and I had to bring it home with me, especially when, you know, I laid eyes on it. I was like, wait a minute, this is my birthday money. This is the Libra stone. Oh, yeah, that's coming home with me. <laughs> okay, the next one I got was the most beautiful malachite egg. Look, okay, I gotta, I gotta sit up so I can twist this. You guys, look at this. It's stunning. Tell me that is not a mo the most stunning. Oh my gosh. Love malachite. Okay. Malachite is really good for, it's a protection stone, our guardian stone. It's really good. It clears out any kind of negative energies, um, they call it, they can call it the, the stone of transformation because it does transform the energy from low vibrational to a more high vibrational. This stone is, is the stone of courage and positive choices and changes. This is, okay, 
I don't think I was able to find out how much the lipidolite is on the Mons. Oh, yes, I was. Okay, so lipidolite is, is actually considered a soft stone. On the Mons scale, it is 2.5 to 3.5 in hardness. So I'll repeat, I will explain that. I've explained it before, but I'll explain it again. So the Mons hardness scale tells you how hard a mineral is from 1 to 10. Now, the softer a mineral is, the easier and more quickly you will get the healing effects from the crystal. Uh, you won't have to work with it as much, and you'll see the effects happening much quicker. The harder that a stone is, the longer it will take and the more you'll need to work with that crystal to get the healing effects out of it. And that scale, like I said, goes from well, zero, because there is a 0.5, but which is like talcum powder. So zero to 10. Okay, so lipidolite. Ooh. MS hands, don't you love it? So lipidolite, pretty soft stone, which means it works. It's a quick, rapid, quick heal or use or quick working stone. <laughs> Pardon me. It is first thing in the morning. Okay. So there's that one. So with the malachite, this is a 3.5 to 4.0, also a quite soft stone. This stone works with the heart chakra. It opens the heart chakra, can soothe some stomach issues you might be having. They call malachite the guardian of the heart. Um, it is, uh, it awakens the healing um, of the heart. It awakens the heart chakra. It just very much, um, if there is any stone out there, I would recommend for heart chakra blockages to remove them or any healing to be done of the heart chakra. Malachite is number one on my list. Number one. Okay. And then I like amazonite too. Um, adventuring. Okay. So the guardian of the heart, um, this quickens the healing process of, whoop, I just about did it again, but did you see that catch? Ooh. No, <laughs> I'm just kidding. Uh, the guardian of the heart, it quickens the healing of broken bones. Also, it helps stabilize blood pressure. Um, it is a protector um, so that it protects the toxic flow of negative energies, removes them, helps let go of old traumas and, and old patterns that no longer serve you. They call it the midwife stone. Um, this is, let's see. Oh my gosh, I can't even read my own writing. Stab this is a stable, encourages quick healing with broken bones, torn muscles, and joint problems. Helps with menstrual cramps. This stone has a strong feminine energy. Uh, also, it so it helps with like labor pains, um, and like I was saying, with the with the flow of energy through giant hormonal life changes like menopause and um, starting your period, and menstruation, and all of that. This flushes out toxic emotions and unwanted energies. Helps embrace change. It has immense powers of protection. It gives courage and wisdom, and the ability to spot and say no to all kinds of emotional blackmail. That happens all the time. Like I said, it opens the heart chakra, works with the third eye also, and the solar plexus. This is the birthstone for Scorpio and Capricorn. So we've got Libra, and then we've got Scorpio and the Cappies. All right, so that's the first two. Okay, so the second one I got, and these are my babies. I'm so excited. Okay, so the third one I got is called Fancy Jasper. And I, you, I have a thing for spheres. I have a thing for crystal spheres. I, I own a ton of them. Can't help it. I, I'm not sorry. So, Fancy Jasper. This is a very powerful healing stone. It gives you a sense of well-being. There is a gentleness and a relaxation energy that comes from this stone this stone gives you like a feeling of just well-roundedness just wholeness um it helps you focus on the here and now helps you kind of worry less about uh things that happened in the past kind of let go um and also help you worry less about the future um 
mainly this is for the root chakra this this stone works with aries and scorpio and on the mon scale it is 6.5 to 7. so my ring light is going to take away the ability for you guys to see how pretty this is this stone is actually multicolored. they call it fancy jasper because it's super fancy so what you're seeing in there is some blue some red some white some green a little yellow yeah, it's just gorgeous. To me, it looks like a little mini planet. I think it just looks like a planet. Isn't that cool? All right, so got the fancy jasper. It's a powerful healing stone. So this is medicine for me. And the last one I got, you guys, is called Blue Argonite. And I didn't have any of this. The last time I went in there, I asked for this. She didn't have any. So she actually said this one, like, Actually, okay, the last time I went in there, I spoke with someone else and asked for blue argonite. I don't think Patty was there, or maybe she was busy with someone else, and they, they weren't able to find any. So, t so yesterday when I went in there, she pointed out to me, she said, look, and pointed out, she's like, look what I got. So, look at this. Okay, light, turn, turn, change colors so you can see how pretty. Okay, it's a light blue, you guys. It's a very, very light blue and white on the hardness scale it is three and a half to four so i got all soft stones this time i want some quick action here so on the mon scale 3.5 to 4 this works for the throat chakra also heart chakra this helps with communication it helps with healing emotional pain and struggle it helps you to sympathize with people more easily um and enhance communication abilities specifically spiritual communication when paired with the october stone the it is joyful optimistic comforting relieves stress facilitates open okay i'm gonna drop every single one of them sorry guys <laughs> sometimes my okay having ms causes a uh, sometimes the message in my brain where um, subconsciously I'm I, my brain is telling my hand to hold the stone or hold the object that will get broken or interrupted and this is from scar tissue on my brain from the lesions that have healed from my MS but what will happen is my hand will just let go and it happens to me all the time you have no idea how many screen protectors I go through <laughs> my phone <laughs> anyways that just explains that a little bit. So the reason I went searching for this stone in the first place, and I'm so happy to have it. I picked the prettiest one she had. The reason I went is because this stone facilitates communication with your spirit guides and with, and gives you spiritual vision. Okay. Not, not only does it heal past traumas and helps you embrace those past traumas and then use them to learn lessons through them. It, and so therefore then you're being, being benefited in the here and now and in your future. It also heals the inner child, which is like the unresolved issues from your childhood. Um, it helps hugely with inner awareness during meditation. I love it. Okay. It increases your receptivity to uh, th to the divine guidance that comes through meditation. It awakens your psychic knowing. Ah, it gives patience while you're working with all kinds of people, giving the ability to um, like just be calm and straight and and, and eat level headed through like stressful situations. Thank you. I will need this working my jewelry stand. Um, this is a loving energy that's emotionally calming and spiritually uplifting. And it works with Capricorn, Zodiac. So I'm so excited, you guys. <laughs> I got four new beautiful babies. I got to visit with my special friend, Patty, who I love her. She's amazing. She's like the spiritual guru, uh, psychic uh, counselor, um, for everybody so you cannot go into that store and just be in there for half an hour if, if there's something wrong with you if you do <laughs> okay guys so the other thing i got in there was some white sage boop, boop, boop. this is for my readings and of course i grabbed a deck are you kidding me 
Like, really? Did you think I was going to a crystal shop and I was not coming out of there with a deck? Well, think again. <laughs> I picked up a new deck. This deck is called, this is by Crystal Savoy, which is what drew me to it, the name right away. This is Positive Astrology Cards. It is for enhancing your life through astrology in positive ways. So this is what the front of the box looks like. Okay. On the back of the box, it says, The positive astrology cards unlock the ancient wisdom of the stars. For beginners or experienced astrologers, the detailed guidebook and gorgeous 73-card deck, that's a lot for an oracle deck, 73 cards, so this gorgeous 73 card deck assists you in understanding your personality and knowing how to best utilize the qualities of your zodiacs daily and monthly cycles for abundance and success. Learn to give readings with a positive approach to enrich the lives of the yourself and others. It's got the 12 zodiac sun signs, the 12 zodiac moon signs, the 12 zodiac ascendant signs, 10 planets, 12 house system, 10 further... 10 further astrology, um, the guidebook, five guide cards. Cool. So let's open it, right? Let's open it. The box is white inside. Ta -da! Okay. So it's kind of cool because all along the outside of the box is like all these cool symbols, astrology, astrological symbols. So I love that. That's really cool. So you don't see those until, you know, you open the box. And then when you open the box, they are, they're inside all along the side. So that's cool. I love that. Love it when they put some effort into packaging. Okay, let's take the plastic off. Okay. So the guidebook is in the middle. So these cards, this little... This little section of cards was separate, separated from this bigger section. So I'm going to leave it like that for a minute because the guidebook was in between. So here's the little guidebook. Colored. Very cool. Very cool. There's a lot of information in this tiny little book. A lot of information so you've got zodiacs you've got planets you've got houses some further astrology and then it gives you a card description explaining the cards the color borders on the cards the sets in the deck oh these are gonna be fun I'm so excited and then it tells you about each card is there some Okay, yeah, so they've got some different spreads in here. Love that. Love that. And then it gives you some further advanced study with further astrology, some more extra spreads. Oh, my goodness. Okay, so enough of that. <laughs> this is, okay, so this is just an extra card. Right? Yeah, so this is just the extra card that tells you who the designer is, but this is, so these, these cards are so different. Oh my gosh, I've never had a deck of cards like this before. So they come in different colors. You see the different colors. So we've got purple, blue, red, gray, and yellow. Um... So the colors are the different, okay, so like the gold color is the sun sign cards. The sun sign for each, like, okay. So like the, the gold is the sun sign for each zodiac. Like this is the zodiac, the zodiac sun sign for Aries, which is March 21st to April 19th. So then on the back of the card, it gives you so much information about the sun sign in Aries. Oh my gosh. Shows you. So this is a masculine energy. 
Element Fire, Planet Mars, House First, Quality Cardinal, Anatomy, Face, Head, Hair, Courageous, Honest, Driven, Spontaneous, Active, Ambitious, Energetic, and Optimistic. Your core representative as Aries is Leadership, Independence, Enterprise, and Energetic Action. Anyways, I'm not going to read the whole thing, but it's very cool. These cards are super cool. So I feel like I will learn so much about astrology using these cards. I've been slowly behind the scenes, you guys, kind of um, doing some, some research on astrology myself. I know I said this a little while back, but I am suddenly very drawn to all things astrology, the sky, the zodiacs, the the charts, the birth charts, the zo the everything. I'm just I'm lately I've been really I mean I've always been interested in them and I've always been connected to them. I've always been one who goes off of my my Libra and um all of that, but I don't, I, I don't know, maybe I'm experiencing a bit of an ascension or my um, frequency has changed, but I now desire to learn more about astrology and that's what I'm doing. So the cards that were separated, um, the guidebook was in between. Um, they are elements and qualities. The elements, the qualities the masculine, the feminine, okay, and then we've got the further astrology here, the uh, symbols for the houses, the symbols for the planets, the symbols for the zodiacs, then we've got the cusp, midheaven, retrograde, moon orbit, Chiron comet, sextile aspect, conjunction aspect, opposition aspect, square aspect, trine aspect, the 12th house, the 11th house, and the 10th house. Okay, so I don't know why they only go for the 12th, 11th, and 10th house systems. Okay, so the 12th is rebirth and completion, the 11th is wishes and friendships, and the 10th is work status, public life. So I'm not sure why they only go do 10, 11, 12, but I'm sure I will be learning the answer to that. Unless maybe, oh, okay. So here's the rest of them. Okay, here's the rest of them. So there's, there's nine, eight, seven, six. Okay, okay. They were just in a weird place. That's strange. Oh, well, okay, well, there you go, guys. That is my new, very different than what I'm used to deck of cards. These are not tarot cards. These are not oracle cards. These are learning cards. So I, it does show where you can do readings with them. Uh, I won't be doing that until I really am a lot more um, knowledgeable and have learned a lot and um, confident with um, sharing that kind of information that it will be true and accurate because I don't want to tell anybody something that's not true. But anyway, so Crystal Savoy, um, the positive astrology cards. Love them. And my beautiful Lipidolite, Malachite, Fancy Jasper, and Blue Arcanite. I'm waiting for the white color to come along so you can see how pretty blue that is. Oh, it's so pretty. Okay. All right. Thank you, Mystic Brady, for the birthday card so that I could go down and splurge at the crystal shop. All right, guys. I love you guys so much, and I hope you guys are all out there having a beautiful day. I have a few more. I have a few readings I'm going to do today, and I'm going to come back and do... Uh, well, the reading I'm going to do today is going to focus on uh, Amanda and um, her energy and that of her boyfriend from uh, the Debbie Collier case, Amanda Baird. And I don't know if I'm going to focus on her boyfriend's energy and her energy at the same time. I kind of just want to focus on Amanda's energy to start with, although I feel like they're both very, very, very much involved in what happened to Deborah Collier. So anyways, that'll be the next one I come through with. Um, I was thinking about doing a spirit box session, 
um, for little Quentin Simon, Simon, but, um, yeah, I, I kind of, I've decided I'm not going to do that. We all pretty much know what happened to him. So now it's just a matter of finding him. So, and his mother paying for the price of what she did to him. So, all right, guys, thank you so much for watching. I love you guys so much, and I hope you guys are having a beautiful day. Keep it namaste. Bye, guys. Stay. Hey guys, I am back already. <laughs> no, I actually started thinking about something after I ended the video and I needed to come back and add something. So my friend who owns the Lotus Shack, um, Patty Devine, she owns, <laughs> of course I dropped it. It's going to be one of those days. <laughs> okay. Patty Devine's Lotus Shack. Okay, Patty Devine. Okay, so she informed me yesterday when I went into the crystal shop that she oh, she now has, she's on YouTube now. She has a YouTube channel. Her YouTube channel is called Patricia Devine. Um, I think her very first video was just uploaded like five days ago or something like that. And it's like, we are the Lotus Shack or welcome to the Lotus Shack or something like that. So it was a debut for her. And like how I was in the beginning with my camera shyness, she's experiencing the same thing. So let's go to over to Patty's channel and sub up, give her some support. She's a beautiful, wonderful person. She is a strong, strong healer and just very, um, very important person in my life. So I'm going to link a... Um, I'm going to put a link to her channel in the description of my video. Go sub up to Patty Divine. You won't regret it. All right, guys. One more time. Namaste. Love you.